<laughs> shirtless Hakeem is back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this nice. is really... <laughs> You're shirtless? Okay, I'm taking it off. Wait, one second. I'm taking mine off. There we go. <laughs> Your boy. Now it's a party, boys. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm hairy again. Oh, the, uh, the horrible mm. story of me uh, shaving improperly. Uh, <laughs> it, the hairs are back and my handsomeness is back. I feel like proper Wolverine again. There you go. You're not suffering anymore? Not at all. <laughs> There's a reason God made us this way. Hair should not be removed from any part of the body. Except it if, just be if you're go. removed <laughs> smartly. <laughs> except when you're an extremely okay, sexualized woman and I am being a hypocrite, etc., etc. But yeah. JT, all right. It, 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 your hairs. Actually, you know what? Do, do whatever you want. All right. Do whatever you want with with your wow. pristine hairs. Thank you're, you. you're beautiful to us. Aww. You're beautiful to us no matter which way you look. Wow. But uh, I, I won't shy away from my preference for hairy JT. <laughs> I want to I want to see a lot. Hey, not everyone. <laughs> I want to see a lot of fan not art. Not everyone can be a bear. Hairy JT. Not everyone can be a bear. <laughs> The two of us obviously kind of are, though. Mm, is is Hakim a bear? He probably is. Yeah, I, I'm mm. imagining a bear. But uh, let's imagine the two of us are bears. That makes uh, mm. uh, JT our little uh, what would oh, you boy. call it? A mm. twink? What was it? Mm. <laughs> the, yes. the, the salmon running. The salmon <laughs> swimming upstream. Mm. <laughs> I'm as smooth as a seal. There we when, go. When JT mm, yes. is between the two of no, us, we... and we're like super hairy. It's as if it's a small <laughs> river passing through a lush forest. <laughs> a the beautiful image. image. Is beautiful. Oh, fuck. Oh, All right. Let, please, let, Hakim, let, your let, story. Let, yes, I have, I have a beautiful story for you guys. So, uh, yesterday I go into work. And um, I uh, I get the first patient on the on the docket. I don't know what the fuck you Americans say on the list, basically on the mm. roster, there on the is. agenda. Um, yeah, 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 perfect. A schedule uh, and <laughs> and other such related terms. <laughs> I got I got synonyms for you, boy. <laughs> agenda is like what a KGB <laughs> agent screams at you in like a dark torture room when he wants you to give information. Agenda. What is your agenda, my friend? But in America, everyone has an agenda when they go to work. Yes. Anyways, so uh, I, I have the, the stack of patients. The first patient is a woman that liked to party because she nice. she was brought against her will to to us to um what's it called uh, to to the emergency ward um, by the police because she was out in public and she did uh she did uh, cocaine um, opioids. Drank way too much alcohol. We don't know how much, but it's in the liters. Uh, a bunch of benzos and like antipsychotics. She was mixing. She had a good cocktail. She was fucking on cloud nine. What a woman. legend! <laughs> you got the. You would get along very well. Um. Oh come on! I, I, I do not take any of the other substances. Do not mix me up with the junkies. That's I'm true. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. But I'm just saying the the vibe. The vibe. No, the vibe is Anyways. good. The vibe is fire. Yeah. And uh, what look, look, was look. the the? There's an expression pill. Uh, Pill hopping when you do a bunch of uh, different things at the same time. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, let me let me tell you the beauty of it. All right. So she comes because she was brought against her will. She didn't want. She just wanted to go back out and do more drugs. Just in public, <laughs> she didn't want to go to. And she was completely lucid. It wasn't like there was anything wrong with her, despite the fact that she's done enough, basically anything to kill like an elephant. Um, and my favorite part about it is she was she was threatening all the staff. She was like, "Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill everybody here." Cold all this wow. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and, you know who I am. Him. You know who my father is? Oh, fucking classics. And then, yep. and, and then after, afterwards, uh, because we were, um, what's it called? Uh, the cops were detaining or holding her, uh, basically. Uh, she started threatening herself, and she was like, oh, if, if you guys don't let me go right now, I'm going to go and drown myself in the nearest water. <laughs> she said it in such a straight, I can't translate it in, in English appropriately, but basically the it was a, a very technical way of saying any any small local water source that is enough for me <laughs> to drown in, I will go and <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go and commit suicide there. And then afterwards, by the way, we put her in a room because we think okay, she's gonna she's gonna calm down, and then we can go and do our stuff to make sure she you know lives. Yeah. Um, and uh, I go and like I prep the stuff, and then afterwards I go to the nurse. And I'm like, okay, time to go to the room. And the nurse is just like um, uh, awkwardly looking at me. He's like, I can't find her. I was like, what? Like, I can't find the patient. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I, I remember. I opened the the fucking the the the, the document. You know where we write all the yeah. information about the patient when they come in. And I open on the second page and I look, and it says it's the nurse note. And I lost my shit. It just said I looked all over. I can't find the patient. Is not in the acute ward. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, there's something I need you to realize is she was inside a room that you like you need a car to get out 
So either she somehow very cleverly found a way out, or she went through a, a <laughs> like a, a, it's a window, it's, a, have you seen the, um, like in hotels, the small, like, uh, window by the shower that you open to get air out? Yeah, yeah. Like, kind of tilts, to get the steam yeah. Out? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it basically, it kind of tilts, unless she either found a way out the door, or she fucking got through that <laughs> thing, which could, could uh, scarcely fit, like, a medium-sized dog. Like, <laughs> maybe, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that was my, my first patient demons, yesterday. Man. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. The drug cocktail dissolved her bones and she slithered through the window. <laughs> turned into <laughs> little dust. Like a cat. Like, bruv, I did so much coke, I turned into coke. And then the wind just blew it out of the small fucking window. <laughs> so, uh, did I did I mishear you or, or misremember, or did you say this was an old woman? Oh, no, no, no. This was a, okay. a, a, okay. a healthy woman. I'm imagining this woman. whole thing is like an 80-year-old woman doing this. No, no, no. Oh, but I've had that. I've had that too. Uh, uh, when she escaped, and uh, Hakim looked all over the room, uh, the like title screen pops up, and it says, uh, <laughs> "And this is how I met your mother." Oh Jesus Christ! No, <laughs> but yeah, what was I gonna say? Um, uh, that same day, uh, I had another patient, which was a ninety four ninety four year old woman uh, who was of a particular ethnic minority and did not speak uh, the language of the of the region. So um, you rejected so was, her like a proper racist no, would do, and you went. Exactly. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> no. Okay. okay. Um, and uh, we need to get a, a, a like somebody who speaks the language because I don't speak this particular language that she speaks. Um, uh, and she doesn't speak uh, English. Yeah. How does she not speak English? Everybody speaks English, or American. No, she's ninety-four. Uh, but and everybody speaks not American, in the US. <laughs> Oh, I mean, yeah, you're right. It's uh, that's that's very very true. But anyways, um, uh, the reason that she was here is that again, she was also found by like a, a community watch, a neighborhood watch, like these type of people, uh, yeah. and they're like, yeah, she was just walking around like at three in the morning. <laughs> Can you just Jeez. figure out what's wrong? And she was shouting, like, somebody She's stole my coke. <laughs> <laughs> she was completely fine like okay she was like 94 like on the border of dementia a little bit but otherwise you're having conversations she's like making jokes she's you know she's funny she's really fucking huh? funny <laughs> and I'm just, uh, so it was it was a lot of that th- those kind of patients uh yesterday it was a lot of fun um, wow yeah that's you have such fire. adventures <clears throat> yeah that i do jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> the emergency ward even more than before like less balls yes but more like uh this one uh said that she's gonna drown you had one that actually drowned uh you have the grandma looking for the one the other one who stole all her blow it's uh it's <laughs> quite the life you're living i saw i saw oh jesus christ this is gonna sound very weird i saw a very wet penis today <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah you're not wrong that sounds pretty weird <laughs> I, I Explain don't yourself. To, I don't stop, know how to formulate stop penis this. penis shaving, <laughs> like wet or dry. It's a penis, you know? It's oh. so, I don't know how to fucking formulate this. It's wet. I don't get it. You okay, put okay. it in water it's, before coming it, in? No, no. It's, it's a it very old... He's, he's a very old man, and he's had he has a million fucking issues. And one of his most recurrent issues is um, like uh, recurrent urinary tract infections that then spread to mm. like the rest of his body. It's it's a it's a fucking mess. This guy's oh, been Christ. in to get IV antibiotics. Like he's in every like third month or second month to do this. Um, it's a miracle this man is still alive somehow. Mm-hmm. But uh, anyways, when I uh, <laughs> when I met him and I was just trying to figure out what what, what happened this time around. Um, <laughs> Again, it's so weird. So he was trying to readjust himself, basically, but um, because he he uses catheters, right? So uh, he um, he wears like special pants that can you know, make it basically a lot more comfortable for him. Um, and he was trying to readjust himself. So he had his pants down, like almost halfway down to his thighs, um, and he had a blanket on top of him. And then, like when I go to like check out his, his abdomen, for example, to to uh, palpate a bit, he pulls down the blanket and he just kind of straddles it underneath his like between the the the, uh, the confluence of his balls and his dick. Do you know what uh-huh, I mean? Uh-huh. <laughs> like just underneath uh-huh. his dick, yeah, but yeah. above his balls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. It was just hanging above this this poor fucking public property blanket. <laughs> <laughs> This been the, the people's blanket, <laughs> and this, I don't know why, but his dick was just very wet. I don't. It was just. It was slick. It was shiny. Sweat, right? Slick. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I don't know why. I, I, it didn't look like it was urine. It looked like it was a thicker substance. So um, I don't know if he just doesn't clean himself appropriately, or um, I don't know. I don't. I didn't ask if, if that's wow. what you want. <laughs> the yeah, many imagine. adventures of Hakim the doctor. <laughs> Yo, man, why why, why your dick so wet? <laughs> Hakim twenty twenty two. 
Oh. <laughs> mm, calls in, calls in the whole fucking department. JT, do you have anything to share with the class? <laughs> you guys always have such great stories, and I've got nothing. I sit at home and I might throw a frisbee to my dog, and that's about as exciting you, as it gets. That is super no exciting, news, bro. Yeah, no news is good news. Enjoy the bliss that you live. All right, yeah, you don't. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I pray, I pray that God showers you with even more blessings. You don't need any of this shit in your life. <laughs> Never once have I had to deal with a slick penis and a blanket at the confluence of the dick and balls. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so welcome to yet another episode of the Deep Program. We are your hosts with the most, Yugopnik, JT, and Hakim, bringing you a potentially new segment to the show, a breathtaking new invention, something you, dear listener, or the world for that matter, might not be ready for. The three of us, and get this, will be going over the news. Dumb, dumb, (laughs) dumb. Groundbreaking. Extremely groundbreaking. Mm. If you enjoyed this this program, please let us know and keep tuning in every evening at uh, 9 o'clock. I mean, uh, 10 o'clock, 2 Uh, (laughs) o'clock. Jesus, you guys really are from all over the fucking world. Anyways, (laughs) welcome to uh, News with a Yank, a genocidal Balkanoid, and a war-hungry Arab, all united under the banner of bringing you the sweet, sweet, irrelevant news content. So I like how you didn't have to add a, another derogatory term in front of Yank. That was, <laughs> was that, that's the most derogatory <laughs> thing I could think of calling anyone. So, um, but uh, you see, the Yank is acting like a Yank and interrupting me in this extremely scripted <laughs> intercourse that I'm having with your ears, dear listener. So let us start <laughs> this lovely day off with one of my favorite superstars, the embodiment of the American dream, the slay queens that don't really slay anything except the labor cost of their foreign wage slaves, the Kardashians. <laughs> so why are they all over the news recently? To quote, Kylie Jenner has faced a torrent of criticism for her decision to take her private jet on a flight that has lasted just 17 minutes. But the practice of taking brief journeys on luxury aircraft appears to be common among the rich and famous despite mounting concerns over the climate crisis. In 15 minutes, this lady spent one quarter of the carbon footprint of an average American in a year and around four times of that of people living in the developing world. While individualizing crimes against nature like this would be very un-Marxist, as this is obviously a systematic problem, I cannot help but wonder what other absolutely bananas type of practice some of these people engage in on the daily. Uh, I mean, in this case, they really said, uh, the poors keep telling us, why do we need all this money? We can't possibly spend it. So they said, I'm I'm, I'm (laughs) a fucking find a way. What are you guys' takes on this shit? I was going to say... If, if if you don't if you don't mind JT, let me just say this. My favorite part about this fucking article is the 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 guys like oh you have these people like fucking Kylie Jenner or Drake or whatever the fuck doing their stupid flights their private flights and there's and there's this guy um, a columnist uh, and he's mentioning oh well you know this is such a waste of time and money and it's so uh, wasteful I mean with Elon Musk when he takes a twenty eight minute <laughs> ride <laughs> on his private jet he's trying to be as quick as possible and efficient for work. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. But someone like Kim Kardashian is posting Kim Air and flexing and all that. <laughs> yeah. That stood out oh, to me too. That's the guy oh, who runs yeah. the um the account that tracks uh celebrity flights and uh and Elon's flights as well. So which was interesting to me because I, I assumed the dude who tracked Elon's flights would be more critical of him, but I guess no, he just I'm, does I'm it because he's curious. That's you want to see where he's actually going in places that he's visiting. Turns out it wasn't about saving nature after all, bro. <laughs> he's hoping to get a glimpse of, uh, you know, the the the, <laughs> the ever, <laughs> ever popular. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say the ever popular uh, sexual uh, <laughs> sexual assault Elon Musk sexual <laughs> assault special. <laughs> hey, you'll get oh, a horse Jesus. or a or a two hundred fifty thousand dollars settlement out of it. You know, it's a lucrative business. 
Speaking, there's a part two on a uh, very short interlude. There's a part two on what we talked about previous episode. Now, this absolute savage man, Elon Musk's dad, has come out to officially say that a lot of people, a lot of women want to buy his sperm because potentially uh, another Elon Musk could be born. And he's considering giving it only to a special class of women. Oh, wow. Uh, short what interlude. A, what a martyr. Over. Special <laughs> breeding a, stock. Jesus yeah, Christ. Literally. <laughs> what a... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the sacrifice this man is delivering. I mean, I, I, <laughs> truly, oh truly selfless. <laughs> By the way, uh. I love the fact this is like the ep- epitome of uh, like liberal cringe of like, oh, hey, my cum is special. Yeah. <laughs> it's, oh my god, no, it's not the emerald mine. No, that hasn't that had nothing to do with it, right? Absolutely, fucking hell. Great cum theory. Um, but even even yeah. with the Kylie Jenner <laughs> article. Even with the Kylie Jenner article, the, the segment that they read out, it's uh, like even in the beginning, they're saying, OK, look at this lady, what she's doing. But because she's so financially and socially powerful, I don't want to get in her bad graces. So even in the first mm. sentence, they're saying, OK, this is kind of bad what she's doing, but it's pretty common for wealthy people to be doing yeah. this. So, you know, she's slay queen uh, as, as long as it's in the same levels as the as the other guys. Uh, it's a this constant like need for extremely like I hate this terminology, but there's no better term to use. It's really beta motherfuckers that really wanna like <laughs> yeah. follow uh, and set up like a cult of personality behind these extremely shallow, uninteresting people. That uh, I don't know if you've seen that fucking video. Don't even know how to cut the motherfucking cucumber. I'm probably confusing it to, to with one of the other clones that they call uh, sisters, but. Uh, I still, I've, I've never seen anything from these fucking people. I don't know what they are. Um, I just know somehow they're massively wealthy, and I don't understand it. Wait, did that, Kardashians don't air in, in Iraq? No. Dude, no. You, <laughs> I am <laughs> moving to motherfucking Iraq right now. <laughs> <laughs> you are so... First of all, not, uh, to begin with, not much airs to begin with. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. There's a lot of good stuff that sometimes airs. There's a lot of fucking weird garbo fucking uh, conspiracy shit. <laughs> you nice. know when you flip on the channels in the middle of the night? You know the the when you get into the high numbers, you're like, what the uh-huh. fuck? What is this? What aliens? What the fuck? Is <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but I'm assuming that's not, that's a weird pal- a parallel we have with the Americans. Um, yeah. Do you guys have a Mothman? We have a Mothman. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is Mothman? <laughs> is it a big moth? <laughs> yeah, we've got so many cryptids like. Um, but wait, explain. Oh. You can't just say we have Mothman and then we have... Okay. <laughs> does he okay. say the news? Um, does he, like, walk around the city and do vlogs? Like, what does Mothman... No, no, do? no. Mothman Mothman is like a, a monster. He's like a like Bigfoot or something. He's ah, a, okay. a dude with, with moth wings. That oh, it's like Bigfoot, but for people with, uh, with a sense of humor. Okay. Yeah. In West Virginia folklore... <laughs> <laughs> it's a you humanoid it creature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Seen in Point Pleasant area. Oh, God. That sounds very... Un- <laughs> that sounds surprisingly unpleasant. In 1967. Yeah. I swear to God, this fucking... Oh, my God. Couple sees man-sized bird, creature, something. November 16th, 1966. It's folklore. It's <laughs> cool. Everybody's report- some shit. <laughs> reported in the Point Pleasant Registrar... Or Registry, sorry. Which apparently was pro-Trump? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, all right. This is the beginning of the Hakeem cryptid arc. We're gonna you're gonna start oh, yeah. your own new channel about Mothman and the, oh, the yeah. goat monster and all these other the chupacabra. Uh, I'd, I'd sooner kill myself. The belled buzzard is a fearsome critter in American folklore, frequently frequently <laughs> cited as an omen of disaster by the sounding of a bell. Is this something uh, like whenever a video is not about to do well, do you hear the belled buzzard? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Owl man? I swear to God, you fucking people have no creativity. Uh, you have Goat Man, you have Owl Man, and you have Popo Bawa. What the? Oh no, that's not. One. That's in Z- that's in Zanzibar. That's not one of you guys. All right. And the the Bogey Man, the Bogey Man is a type yeah, the of- Boogie Man. Oh, Boogie. Yeah. Ah, the Boogie Man is a classic. <laughs> An apparitional experience. All right. Let's, so we got derailed back. a little bit. Well, yeah, we were, yeah, oh, we're talking about jets. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Just before we get back to it, on the Wikipedia page for Mothman, there is a human comparison. Science comparison. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of the <laughs> fictional <laughs> idea of the Mothman. It's a fictional creature okay, that some people think right, is I'm real. Sorry. Like, okay. don't you have, like, fucking desert monsters and shit? Like, fucking some... Yeah, there's, like... We have, like, vampires yeah. and stuff that are famous here and shit. And old ladies that eat children. Like that Baba Yaga. Oh, yeah, that's Baba a classic. Yaga, that. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a classic. But, yeah, all right, back on jets. <laughs> <laughs> I think the easiest answer here is that every private jet should be scrapped, every cruise ship should be scuttled, and, uh, and most meetings flies them should, should be... be uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> most most meetings should be online. There's no yeah. need to fly so many places. Exactly. You're, are you are you seriously stating that the vast majority of uh, international communication can be done over through a screen and not you? You're telling me I shouldn't use the company card to buy a <laughs> a, a, a seven star hotel room, okay, for my business trip. Where I get <laughs> the, the, the joke was gonna go too far. You can bleep it if you want. But I was say, <laughs> I, actually, I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> On your flight over to your job destination, you stop at an island. Oh god! Yeah, I mean, I wasn't gonna go exactly that far. I was gonna say. Yeah, by the way, JT, you're getting rid of all of this. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the uh, pie chart of uh, people that own jets and people that use them to go to private islands is like one to one. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. good. Pretty much. Honestly. You're fucking ghouls. So um, uh, <clears throat> moving on to on. our next topic. Hold on. Hold on. I'll go on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yep. Sure, yeah, sure. The, la the last mo uh, point on this is the most beautiful fact is these most of these plane trips that they take, which are like 17 minutes, would be like 30 or 40 minutes by car because yeah. at, they have to taxi off the runway. They have to wait to get approval to land. They have to, you know, all this fucking bullshit that, you know, lengthens the, the, the trip of, with a plane. It's so stupid. It's just taking it because you can't take it. Really? That's your time frivolous. is so fucking important. It's your time yeah. is so fucking important so that saving five minutes, you, you, you taking a shit will fill up that time. It's fine. <laughs> all right. That's the biggest Sorry. mistake that people no. think that they take uh, these trips as a practical solution. Yeah. This is uh, a flex. Except for Elon, of course. Yeah, of course, of <laughs> course. The, the great mind. He's, he's running around depositing his sperm uh, around oh, uh, influential Christ. women. <laughs> yeah. and, and getting paychecks <laughs> from his dad. Uh, but uh, no, it's, it's, it's a flex, uh, not only to the world, but because obviously the world didn't very positively react to this, but also to themselves. I mean, let's remember that these are people who have dedicated their entire life to the pursuit of uh, gaining as much wealth as possible, and then they climb the hierarchy to the top, and at the top they saw absolutely nothing but meaninglessness, so they up their game when it comes to how luxurious they can live in order to explain to them their own selves uh, that they are living a life worth living and not just uh, living day in and day out just like the rest of us. But, um, you know, uh, I'm not exactly going to sit here and feel sorry for them. So our next topic of uh, completely irrelevant news that we're shoving down your throat because we can. <laughs> uh, AOC has recently been held in custody by the police over a <laughs> protest she attended in favor of pro-choice. As she was being dragged away, either intentionally or not, she held her hands behind her back, making a lot of commentators think that it's a play at looking handcuffed. Obviously, neocons grabbed onto this like newborns grab onto a tit and proceeded to horny <laughs> post about the jihad squad as usual. <laughs> to me, this was just a prime example of public obsession with uh, individuals instead of policies. Uh, but alas, uh, I am all for bringing attention to the absolute, uh, absolutely criminal overturning of Roe versus Wade. But like, we really need to be careful not to make this about ourselves, something that politicians, no matter how progressive or not, can't really control about themselves, if you know what I mean. You know, something that I, if you read, when you read the article, there's this part where it says, it says, the politicians gathered in front of the U.S. Capitol before marching to the court building, chanting, our bodies, our choice, and we won't go back. Um, you guys are the ones that make the laws. Why? What the fuck are you doing? Why? Do you remember? Uh, I remember uh, there was um, in Canada, the, uh, there was a uh, climate march or something, and Trudeau was marching with them. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, you're the guy. <laughs> it was not like, and there's like another one where it was like, oh, against like human trafficking in Canada. I'm like, you have literally the highest political office in the country. <laughs> Fuck me. God. Yeah. It's like, it's like, your child, I'm like your child, just so people understand. Like you, you're a parent of two kids and your child is shouting, more cookies, more cookies. And you stand right next to the child and you start shouting, yes, more cookies, more cookies. <laughs> 
honestly, like it's the worst part of fucking of liberal um, you know, what's it called? Optic, uh, the, the, yeah. uh, the, the optics bullshit of just wanting. Oh, like look, I'm with you. I'm with the masses. But yeah. you're, fuck me, man. Empty symbols. It's like the the Black Lives Matter stuff when the Democrats put on the traditional garb oh, yeah. and they and they knelt and then did oh, yeah. absolutely nothing. Just incredibly <laughs> offensive stuff. And it's just. And then they sick the police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. They stand up. All right, there they are. Round them up, boys. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, you know, AOC probably, and she, I think she genuinely means well, and, like, protest is yeah. good and stuff, uh, but, you know, obviously, yes, she is in power, and she saw this as an opportunity to, f- as a photo op. She's good at that. Mm. Um, yeah. I think she probably remembered the picture of Bernie getting arrested when he was protesting for civil rights, mm. and, yeah. uh, you know, she wants something like that so she can campaign for the next 30 years on it. Yeah, but Bernie did that before he was uh, extremely yeah, popular that's what, and elected. I was, he was, I was just thinking yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, Bernie was a gangster back back in the Bernie's day. Bernie's yeah. a legit gangster. One of the rare sots dems that I fucking say respect, bruv. All, all, yeah. the, all these people who are in the American establishment that want, or like I'm sure, like these quote-unquote sock demi types uh, that mean well, I'm sure that they're it's genuine, right? Yeah. But we've spoken about this before. The American... Um, uh, political system has a way of grinding you down and forcing you into compliance. It's either that or they'll get rid of you. Either by not uh, having any development in your career, you're not going to go up the ranks, or you're just going to be uh, pushed out, or you're going to be murdered, depending uh, on, on how successful and radical classic three-way choice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, basically. The American three-way. Um, but uh, <laughs> unlike this very international three-way we have right here. Mm. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, speaking yeah, of uh, speaking of which, the other evening uh, I am also out, but at like a more casual bar and there's lots of people. I was only with one friend. Uh, they left to the toilet. They have some diarrhea problems as uh, everybody else that eats too many right. tacos. Uh, and yeah. he uh, he stayed there for like 15 minutes and I went outside for a smoke. There was another guy who went outside for a smoke, but he opened his pack. He didn't have any cigarettes. So he was like, can I have a cig from you? And then we started talking and the dude literally told me that he works for like, uh, in t- uh, like the sp- special anti-terrorist like forces but uh, the information Ooh. section of it in the in the country where i'm living at right now and i'm, I'm like okay that's interesting and I'm like what exactly do you deal with and he's like specifically right-wing and left-wing extremists and at that moment <laughs> thank god i wasn't high or anything my brain goes full on like oh my god He's a spy. He came here, intentionally didn't have a cigarette. He wanted to introduce himself to myself. He knows that I'm a left-wing radical. I am not. I, uh, by the way, I believe in capitalism. Long live the free market, if anyone's li- listening. <laughs> and he's like, this is all a shill. I'm only playing at this. And uh, he keeps talking to me about like right-wingers doing this shit, left-wingers doing this shit, about religious extremists. And the entire time, I'm like just nodding my head and thinking, oh my God, they found me. They fucking found me. They fucking found me. <laughs> this is not America. They're not just gonna knock on my door like they did for JT. I'm about to disappear. <laughs> I look at my cigarette. I'm like, oh my god, there's Applied fucking man. there's cyanide. There, there's probably cyanide in this fucking thing. Oh my god, I shook his hand. He probably had a little like uh, stabby stabby thing on his uh, <laughs> ring that gave me cyanide poisoning or some shit. Uh, but nah, it was Have just you, a dude that works for the special forces. It was out on a night, but uh, but my my like brain on three beers was very very like self conscious at that moment, and uh, it felt very larpy afterwards. But for some reason, I'm still sharing it with you, degenerates. He said, didn't he say he said, oh, you know, uh, left wing uh, extremists, uh, uh, religious extremists. Why didn't you tell him you're on a podcast with a Muslim communist? I think he'd be exactly fucking class. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was like, yeah, there's this guy. But no, it was funny because he was like, left wing extremists, right wing extremists, uh, religious extremists, and then he only gave me examples of like fascist fucking stabbing grandmas and shit. <laughs> so, yeah. ah, because that's the that's the only that's guys the only, who fucking like, do horrible well, shit. Yeah. Yeah, fucking hell. JT, I can't wait to get, till you get your fucking FBI file, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> well, they sent me some. Did I tell you guys? No. What the yeah. fuck, dude? Yeah. Yeah, so they sent me... This was, uh, I don't know, maybe a month ago. They sent me four pages. And this oh, was... because wow. To rewind a little bit for people who don't know. <laughs> Sorry, my allergies are killing me. Um, <laughs> I thought they got him. <laughs> they got <laughs> JT. <laughs> they got him. <laughs> <laughs> my boy oh shit sorry go just on, for yeah. the audience to understand what just happened jt was about to tell a story about how he was visited by the fbi and as he was wanted to start the story he just went quiet <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah i had to sneeze so i muted myself anyway um to rewind just a little bit for people who don't know 
I uh, sent off a FOIA request, a Freedom of Information Act request for my FBI file. And it took like four months, but they got back to me and said, uh, yeah, we've got like 760 pages on you. Would you like it? I was like, yes, please send that <laughs> to me. And they said, and then it took another you know, month or so. And then they got back to me again and said, well, they said, oh, it's going to take about 60 months for you to, to receive this information. I was like, 60 months? That's five mm. years to send a bunch <laughs> of papers. What are you people doing? You've got the files. Just print them. I mean, it's intentional, obviously. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And so they said, well, if you uh, restrict the uh, scope of your request to a smaller track, 50 pages, for example, uh, we can get it to you. If you, you give us in... access to all your socials and all your dress actors, then... <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Mom. We can get it to you in four months. I was like, fine, yeah, do that. We'll do We'll do each each individual batch in four-month mm-hmm. segments. So I did mm-hmm. that, um, paid whatever they wanted, like, I don't know, 50 bucks or something, um, which is annoying. But uh, then I waited, and then one day, a little parcel shows up from the FBI. I'm like, oh, sick. Uh, put on my <laughs> latex gloves to make sure they're not going to give me anthrax. <laughs> and, uh, Merch just um, dropped. <laughs> <laughs> and they, uh, they had sent me, like, four pages. I was like, what's going on here? So I, I flipped through it, and then they're on the, the, the title page, they've got some information saying... Um, an additional 46 pages were redacted for um, national security purposes or something what? like that. Like, oh, national fuck. security? What are you yeah. people talking about? And so it was, and it, all they sent me was the like the transcript of when the two goons came to knock on my door mm. and harass me about anti-American sentiment in my videos. And so that was, after all that, after like eight months of, of going back and forth with the FBI, I got a transcript of of their harassment and that's it mm. so you consider a national still... threat baby yeah badge of honor <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> hey <laughs> yeah i'll take that over a verification on twitter um <laughs> but yeah oh, that's fuck. there's still yeah. 700 odd pages of, of my fbi file floating around out there what so the who knows maybe <laughs> one day they'll be shut down and i can get my file I can't wait for you to get 13 pages and all the rest is just fucking black ink. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the guy that I met at oh, the bar God. probably was just looking for JT. He wasn't interested in my mm. small ass. He did look a bit American, <laughs> had a weird accent as well. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's Anyways, a wild back story. On track. always gets me incredibly surprised. But yes, let us, uh, speaking of uh, FBI black vans and the uh, lack of documentations, uh, we're moving on to Joe Biden. Uh, Joe Biden, <laughs> wake up, uh, Joe Biden. Uh, old man Biden, ice cream Biden, bomb your mama to hell if Obama agrees with me, Biden. Segregation is the, Biden. Oh, the segregation is Biden, the oldest president in the history of the U.S., Biden, and probably the universe itself, uh, got COVID. Uh, mm. Nothing oh, wow. is uh, going well for our guy. Uh, build back better turned into build back never and now he has the <laughs> demons of covid down in those sweet sweet lungs honestly if he survives this uh, which uh, he will i am not sure if it's going to be marked down in history as one of his greatest successes or for america <laughs> one of his greatest failures uh, kamala probably praying to lord lucifer for the old man to croak uh, because let's be honest that's the only <laughs> way she'd ever become president uh, what do you Honestly, guys think? Honestly, that's that's the only reason I'm I'm pulling for Joe is because Kamala is next in line, and I don't want mm-hmm. to hear her speak all the time. It's but imagine like, oh, the memes, dude. The, the memes of Kamala and like yeah. uh, uh, I can only watch so it, many Joe. instances of inappropriate laughter. Kamala <laughs> saying we did it, Joe, and uh, and then in the clouds right above her, like Harambe and Joe Biden. <laughs> oh no, fucking uh, guys! I was just gonna say, have you seen that video of Joe Biden shaking hands with the air? <laughs> I mean, no, so, seven thousand times. Israel or something recently. I'm sorry, he was in the, in the illegally occupied Palestine, uh, oh, the yes. illegal military occupation that calls itself Israel. Um, and he shakes hands with a guy to his right, and then he turns around and he just starts shaking his hand with the air. <laughs> 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 this guy is fucking. Oh Jesus Christ! But I just want to read the blurb. The president, 79, is fully vaccinated and has received two booster shots. The White House says he is taking an antiviral treatment, but did not sleep well. Bitch, me too. All right, fuck you. <laughs> All right, I didn't sleep well either. You don't see me fucking. Uh, but this is number one. And number two, uh, by the way, the entire fucking uh, article is basically shilling for Biden trying to. I've noticed yeah. this thing of all pro, um, I don't want to say pro Democrat because I don't give a shit about American politics that way, but the pro current uh, established order in that is uh, with the president and whatnot. They all, all their their entire force or focus is trying to push this idea that he's uh, still virile and you know he's the man that can get shit mm. done and he has the, all the energy in the world. It's so when stupid. you see him, it's like 
They should have yeah. just gone with that. It's, it's a wise old man. Da, 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 you know, he's your uncle and shit. That should have been he's the PR, trip. but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Every time he goes downstairs, he's gonna take he's gonna take a tumble. <laughs> yeah, like, right? Grandpa, you love your fucking... grandpa. You listen to your grandpa. It's a perfect <laughs> PR campaign. No, no, he has he has the what's it called? JT, what, what is that American thing? The it's like a button, but you have as a necklace around your neck, and you press it. The emergency. There's a name. Oh, for it. life alert. Yeah. <laughs> Everything takes a tumble. He has life alert. <laughs> Falling. We used to I have. Can't get up. <laughs> we used to have some great uh, like early 2000s infomercial th- with Life Alert. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was this, I think it was this old woman, yeah. and she's trying so hard to get through the line. She's like, every senior citizen <laughs> should have Life Alert. Life Alert? <laughs> <She> just takes like, <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, oh, those commercials were amazing. Oh, man. I remember another thing. I don't know if you guys, one of you guys was the one who told me about it, but uh, he was reading off of the teleprompter. Uh, Biden, yeah. and he's like, "Oh, repeat the line, repeat the period." Line. <laughs> repeat, <yeah. laughs> oh fucking! Oh Jesus Christ! The White House says he has begun taking antiviral treatment and will isolate while continue to carry out duties fully. If this is him carrying out his duties fully, God forbid he's fucking compromised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And people oh say that God. like uh, one of the potential consequences of COVID is like your brain works a bit slower. So I don't know oh what boy. her boy. <laughs> I, I I didn't know that they're slower than five miles per hour. But uh, in the uh, in this garbage fucking article, they have like oh um suggest suggest the articles more on Joe Biden. Why Biden's fist bump with Saudi leader he labeled a pariah was better than a dreaded handshake. Handshake. What is? <laughs> Liberal. Is this fucking journalism? Fucking beauty, oh, no. bro. It, it's like, remember when we made fun of BuzzFeed for doing this? Yeah. This is, what is this? What are you reading from? CNN, Wall Street Journal, what is it? Uh, this is Sky. Okay, or, Sky, or... even better. Fucking incredible. Incredible. Legit journalism, bro. Rupert Murdoch would uh-huh. be motherfucking proud. I did see one fun conspiracy theory that people oh, have. Please, They're please, saying please. that what if... What if Joe Biden doesn't actually have COVID, and this is just the Democrats' way of like dealing with the, the fact that the virus is still murking a bunch of Americans and saying, like, look, he's we'll we'll say he's got COVID, uh, give it a week and a half, and then say, look, he's over COVID, he, mm. he got it, he's fine, he's seventy nine years old, <laughs> nobody has to worry, we don't have to go back to masks, we don't have to shut anything down, all all things are fine. That would be smart. Hey, I mean, that would be very very uh, smart, I, not in a good way. I would have. That would uh, be very smart. Yeah. I want to put it beneath them. I remember yeah. uh, when he when he got COVID, there was this big fucking hubbubble up. What do you again? You, you, <laughs> <laughs> hubbubble up. It's hubbubble up. It? Hubbubble up. <laughs> it's, it's still hullabaloo. Hullabaloo. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. I pulled something. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! It's hella love now. Right. <laughs> That's such a fucking Arab fuck up. We are printing. We're printing hats with <laughs> hubba balub on it. <laughs> I don't even know if it would be racist for me to do that. Like, <laughs> 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 No, you can uh, oh, uh, you'll be late if you want. Uh, I was gonna say there was uh, my point. What I was trying, <laughs> what I was trying to get at is there was all this fucking bullshit at uh, this hub of a lub, <laughs> all right, about <laughs> about him having COVID, and they released a, like an official thing. It's like with uh, complete transparency of as part of our democracy, yeah. we're gonna be giving live updates on the president's condition. I was like, what fucking like. Uh, I know brain. why they're doing that. I know why they're doing that because the other day he he accidentally revealed that he had had cancer, and uh, <laughs> that is something that he was supposed to reveal. So they're like, "Oh, this is how we cover it. We'll just say we are being completely transparent, and then people will forget about that." Lamau, Lamau. I didn't even that's I didn't even hear about it. That's how much. That's how much. It's, it's been a rough I week care. for Biden. He got <laughs> cancer and COVID. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, next it's. A- Anyways, uh, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can believe that too. <laughs> yep. Oh fuck. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Can you, can uh, you ca- uh, carry us on? Uh, uh, speaking uh, of you- Joe Biden, uh, wake up, wake up. Uh, the U.S. like really, and I mean really, doesn't want him to run again. Seven in ten Americans, to be exact. Interestingly, though, Biden has been heard saying, and I quote, the next election, I would be very fortunate if I had that same man running against me. Biden said this in March of the possibility of facing former President Donald Trump, whose name at that exact moment he probably couldn't have even remembered. Imagine... (laughs) Imagine oh Biden God. and like this is me now. Imagine Biden and Hillary running again, and Biden being uh, Biden 
calling her a Cheeto instead of uh, Thick Boy Trump. That, oh that I would pay <laughs> very good fucking money for this. Uh, I mean, well, what is well, to be I, expected, I honestly, ladies and gentlemen, and NBs? Uh, at least with Trump, there was some entertainment. Oh my God, I'm going to get so much shit for saying that. Uh, I think people get what you mean. It's like, yeah, he was a horrible yeah. person, just like every American president was garbage. But on occasion, there was a banger tweet. <laughs> he had some, he had some memes. I mean, he yeah. the man posed with a mountain of McDonald's. <laughs> was a, there's oh, some yeah. beautiful and stuff. Thumbs up. His fucking thumbs up. And he's both oh, thumbs Jesus. up. Oh my god. And and also, I love the the liberal hate towards Trump was actually very I don't know refreshing in a way I, I, because normally Americans uh, at least American liberals especially with like for respect example, the institution yeah yeah and all this bullshit right and it was the first kind of you know Bush kind of got a bit of it even though he deserved a lot more this dude who's like fool me once <laughs> <laughs> he's like shame on you fool me <laughs> you can't fool me again <laughs> oh god that was good god damn oh Jesus Christ dude I still remember like 2005 internet and there would be those like compilations um, I barely I didn't even fucking speak English at the time and I remember I <laughs> I could even tell how stupid he is with the rudimentary English I spoke. I could tell how stupid he fucking was. Anyway, sorry, go yeah. on. I honestly like didn't call it properly uh, when Biden won. I was hoping that the lib would uh, see just how similar everything is with a uh, you know center right instead of center far right government, even though both of them are kind of far right. But you get the cliches. I'm not going to say cliches. But I was hoping that, you know, they would not go back to brunch because they would realize, yeah. okay, <laughs> yes, he's not as passive aggressive as, as vocal as Trump, but the policies are extremely similar. So, uh, you know, we, we shouldn't maybe go back to brunch. But now we've seen even after Roe v. Wade was overturned and a bunch of other stuff that one could say uh, didn't even happen under Trump's four years, and the liberal is perfectly fine with it because, and this is a cliche we talked about this 700 times, because they don't feel embarrassed, because they don't hear about it all the time, because it's not in their face. They care about how their president looks like, how he talks apparently, not even that anymore, <laughs> uh, and, and uh, if he fist bumps or shakes the hands of foreign dignitaries properly. Uh, as long as they're not embarrassed, uh, they're absolutely happy. They were happy when the KKK was rolling around their fucking cities. They were happy when they owned slaves. They're going to be happy uh, as long as uh, their direct uh, material fucking well-being is not uh, uh, hurt. And trust me, ladies, gentlemen, and NBs, it will be fucking hurt one day. Uh, just to remi uh, remind people as well, uh, there's still camps in the U.S. for fucking, like, th yeah. that never stopped. And liberals never gave a shit, right? It was um, under Trump. They were, ooh, concentration camps. And then they're like, oh, no, they're, what did they call them? How did the liberals sanitize them once, once detention, Biden came uh, in? What was oh, it? Uh, detention centers. Yeah, yeah. yeah they were uh, temporary detention centers. Even uh, the liberal, the, the or not liberal, but the, the uh, sock them sweetheart AOC was like, oh, but they're temporary detention centers. Fuck you. Yeah. There was a there was a thing recently, uh, even worse than that, where they the liberals were... Uh, bragging and trying to dunk on conservatives because Biden had gotten Mexico to pay for a portion of wall that Trump started mm. when Trump mm, hadn't Jesus. been able to do that. Like, what the fuck? Come on. Like, you guys were, were screaming about how this is a, a gross violation of human rights and, you know, people should be able to be free to move where they want. But as soon as your guy starts doing it, it's okay. Look, it's for been. liberals, it's for liberals, they, they think that people especially brown people, brown black people, should be able to live and move wherever they want as long as they're willing to work in underpaid agricultural labor. Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, then no, no, they should stay in there, in their, in their uh, uh, and I quote, shithole countries, um, mm -hmm. which, by the way, I've seen plenty of liberals fucking use that terminology. Trump oh, wasn't yeah. the fucking, you know. To me, to me I, uh, speaking of liberals, you know the Andrew Tate phenomena, if you don't, I'm not going to bore you with the explanation, but it's a very sexist, the kind of MLM, uh, not Marxist Leninist Maoist, but uh, <laughs> uh, pyramid scheme, <laughs> uh, online university, get rich quick scheme type of guy. But he's uh, very verbally eloquent, let's call it that, and kind of charismatic to certain people. And he has amassed a following almost the size of Jesus Christ himself. Uh, but uh, the, the funniest, like, liberal reaction to him has always been because he's like... Um, He's American British, but he lives in Romania, right? And the biggest, oh, uh, the biggest, Let me guess. The, the biggest reaction always is like, how can he call himself successful, 
no successful person <laughs> would live in Romania. Like out of everything that this guy does, the oh sexism, the economic, uh, the fucking financial fraud, the pyramid schemes, every, they, they, the only thing they do is they doubt, you know, they click F to doubt on his legitimacy because why would he live with the dirty fucking Romanians, right? And it, it just... It's, what you said, it, just another version of it. As long as they do Armenia labor, it's fine. This guy's name was Andrew Tate, you said? Yes, yes. All right, yeah. He looks exactly the type of guy who would move to a third world country in order for for cheap prostitution. Oh, he God, looks exactly yeah. like that. The second you said he lives in Romania, that's the first thing I thought. You're fighting out of Bucharest, Romania. That is really weird to see. <laughs> oh, fuck. I mean, to me, it's, it's absolutely imbecilic to move to live to the West. Because uh, it's the biggest no, no, shitholes sure. on planet Earth, but you know yeah. everybody no, do what they want to do. Yeah, no, my, my point being is it's like when you see white Western people, usually from wealthy backgrounds, and they move to third world countries, right? That's always a yeah. bit yikesy, right? Um, people from third world countries trying to go somewhere where there's better opportunities, like uh, economically and whatnot, um, because you know those countries stole all the fucking wealth. Um, that kind of kind of at least makes sense. But whenever you have a rich white dude and he goes to fucking Thailand, there's very... The, 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 oh, he's going there because he likes Thai food? I'm sure, I'm sure. You know, that's the Thai thing that he really likes. Mm, fucking yeah. Moving to a more serious topic, the European Central Bank, now third in line after that of the US and the ever more irrelevant UK, has increased its interest rates. Uh, this is a classic tactic for those who don't know for potentially combating skyrocketing inflation uh, because nobody really owns jack shit in capitalism and buys everything on credit. By increasing interest rates, people can do what? They can buy less. And when people buy less, prices go down and rebalance the inflation. That's if all goes well. The more skeptical alternative is people don't buy shit and the economy goes into a recession. Uh, this is all coming from post-COVID economic disaster, uh, one not plaguing the whole world, uh, only seemingly those who really, really like the free markets boot up their ass, and of course the Russo-Ukrainian war intensification. Uh, Europe is kind of squeezed between, and I love this, JT will approve, a rock and a hard place. And hey, the well consequences done. of the coming winter are terrifying, to be honest, especially for those who have already been struggling pre-2019. Uh, I don't know. This shit smells really bad, boys. Uh, very bad. I wouldn't want to be in, I don't know, in Greece right now or Italy or Croatia uh, with loans. Uh, they have, uh, you know, behind them uh keeping their heads above water would be a miracle uh, you're missing you're missing the most important part okay which is uh um yeah hold on uh, though the youth unemployment rate came in above 36 percent in april the highest in the eurozone the rate is still considerably lower than when it peaked in 20 in 2013 at 58.2 percent during the height of the greek death crisis so basically what they're t saying is we know that 36 percent unemployment is bad but hey it used to be 58.2 percent so you know <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh, i love these you know like oh bbc sorry this is a government fucking british government funded uh well state propaganda um mm. what, what is the title underneath twitter what does it say uh, british state oh, media. yeah <laughs> uh, oh, what yeah. the fuck right um no publicly funded uh, like the fucking the what's it called the passive active voice shit the use of the insidious yeah. use of words and language and how this none of this shit is taught to people um but yeah uh, the british government meanwhile the fucking i don't know uh, the romanian regime <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Romania is, is a neoliberal fucking yeah. But okay, okay, you get my point. My point being though, um, the image or the, the the way that these people always write these liberals is, oh, you know, like things were horrible, but like they're kind of you know they're, they're not as bad as they used to be. So you know, yeah. right? Like only ten people are dying every day from malnutrition. Yeah, you're not allowed to complain unless things are literally the worst they've ever been. Uh, and even so if stupid. they're the worst they've ever been, they will find a spin to it. So, for example, oh, in, uh, today, today it's uh, why are you complaining? Uh, do you support Putin's war on Ukraine? Back in the day, it was uh, this war or that war or it was this recession or that recession. Are you not patriotic? You know, everybody's got to save now. Don't overspend. Don't do this. Don't do that. They turn economic activity into a uh, social uh, act while the ones telling you to 
turn economic activity into a social act are spending uh, more than ever because uh, the recessions especially uh, impact uh, recessions and inflation impact the bottom 25 percent uh, 70 fucking hundred times more than they uh, impact everybody above it let alone compared to the top 0.1 percent so it's it's they, they will always turn it into a conversation about social principles about uh, uh, so-called non-political uh, issues, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, while at the end of the day, it is a systematic, reoccurring uh, thing that they keep blaming on uh, X, Y, and Z that just happens to have been happening uh, at that exact time. I mean, th th when people say like th like the economy is in a downturn because of this specific event are living in some sort of fairy tale world where there was a past where there were no events like a system should be strong enough in order to anticipate almost any possible event and then readjust itself as eloquently as possible to said event it shouldn't be designed to only work well when the status quo is well that is not a mm. stable system but they will they all know this and they all agree on this that's why we have standing armies that's why we have fucking nuclear missiles because they're always preparing for the uh, for something that they that can impact their position very intensively if shit was uh, shit came to shove but when it comes to the economy they know they're always going to fucking have enough bread because they are hoarding half of the fucking bread that was ever printed out of a 3d bread printer so it's uh, this crisis and every crisis to come always expect and always be very very suspicious when you hear words like uh, national interest uh moral yeah. imperative etc etc <laughs> for and moral imperative for what always for you to i don't know uh recycle the pampers that you're using to clean your fucking child's ass because it's now too expensive for an everyday person to fucking afford it i i i have nothing i have nothing to add you, you i completely agree with what you said speaking of money at this point everyone must have heard of the greatest Wolfette of Wall Street, the queen oh, of boy. stock, the conqueror of the S&P 500, Nancy mm -hmm. Pelosi, who's been uh, insider trading so fucking hard that even mainstream journalists on primetime TV have been starting to ask her questions. The rules, as you boys know, really don't apply to all of us the same way. Uh, one of the only good takes I've ever heard from... Uh, the same Andrew Tate that I quoted previously was that every I was kind of obsessed. You know when you see like when you smell rot and it's like a disgusting <laughs> smell, but you can't stop smelling it. Uh, I went deep dive into the craziness of this individual, and I actually found a quote that's very good, and it applies to this situation. He says, "Every country is corrupt. Just in the West, it's reserved for the super wealthy." How does this make you feel, boys? Oh boy! Uh, first of all, one small comment I want to give is that that Pelosi is the closest thing to a living witch that I've ever fucking seen. Uh, she looks oh, sexy. like oh, no, it's nothing sexist about it. This bitch looks like there she has go. porphyria. Like she 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 looks like she fucking <laughs> drinks the bone marrow of, of children to, 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 to you know to have five more. Lenin in this sarcophagus of, of, probably looks better than this motherfucker. Jesus Christ! Honestly, yeah, Jesus Christ! He's been dead for a hundred years. Look at this fucking thing. My God, um, she she looks like she'll grab she'll uh, JT. I want you to imagine her bony oh, no, fingers okay. re no. <laughs> reaching reaching out, and then she, as she holds you uh, by both sides of your temples, right, oh. and, and you feel her ice cold touch as she <laughs> with her fucking bright blue eyes, and she no. just begins to suck the soul Stop. out of you. No. <laughs> she Why looks are you like, making me imagine this? I'm so, I'm so sorry. Do you know what she looks like? She looks like. If she were to go, if she was like at the end of your of uh, your neighborhood, your dogs would just start barking, right? And then you're gonna be like, "Hey, what, what is it, guys? <laughs> what was going on? Is there a fire?" <laughs> and then her, she comes. Her boobs were started. trending though. Her boobs were trending like the other week though. Apparently I'm she. I'm sorry. What? She yeah, yeah. She got them heavy. Yeah, apparently she got them heavy. What is breath. wrong with fucking? <laughs> what is wrong with people? Uh. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! A literal ghoul, and they can't fucking st stop their coom brains from. <laughs> 
fuck? Never. <laughs> the coom brain has no ideology. The coom brain only knows the titty and the ass. She's like 900 years old. What the f- I mean, the, the degenerates on the fucking internet are like, oh, you know. <laughs> Oh, geez, I was going to say something no, but, so horrible, but, look, but she yeah, looks exactly what she's supposed to look like for a billionaire corrupt politician that's leeching off of the you, fucking country. Like, that's you what see, you would actually, imagine, right? Yeah. It's kind of honest. Yeah, it's yeah, nice. Yeah, like, fucking Jesus Christ. Yeah, virgin blood fucking uh, uh, facial masks and God knows <laughs> what else she fucking has to do. Hiding anyways, in, underneath uh, Pizza Huts. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that's a reference to, but it's still funny. <laughs> pizza Gate. <laughs> Pizza game, but also Pizza Hut with Gorbachev. I made it more complex. Okay, whatever. Oh, oh okay. See, uh, big brand. There we go. But yeah. Anyways, um, I think everybody sees through this bullshit. My favorite, most telling part is um, uh, the the in the article they talk about how there was a bill that was suggested that would prevent um, what's it called a um. A elected spouse officials. or somebody, yeah, exactly, to um, or just elected officials and their spouses from uh, doing any sort of individual stock trading at, at all. And what did she say? Hold on. She, she said, commented on that. She said, we are a free market economy. They should be able to participate in that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy, the mask fucking slipped, didn't it? Oh, I wonder yeah. why you think that, Miss fucking Pelosi. Yeah, I did a video on this recently, and, like, it's it, with her especially, it's so incredibly transparent. Like, in 2008, Visa made a few small contributions to Pelosi's campaign, and after they did that, her husband Paul was granted privileged access to a Visa IPO, where he was able to invest a bunch of money into um, Visa before stock prices went up. So all Nancy had to do was to stall the passage of a law that would have cut into Visa's profits. And of mm. course, she did that. Yeah. So, like these things aren't like unclear. It's very obvious that they're doing these things. And now with the uh, Nvidia one that that her husband Paul just did, like it's obvious what these people are up to. And that's just the legalized corruption that they have uh, available to them as a normal tool of surviving. Yep. But as Bro Andrew Tate says, move to Romania and then you have more access to it and you can pay the cop mm-hmm. 20 bucks and you can also engage in the in the like alternative market of uh, of quote unquote corruption. But fuck, uh, fuck Tate. The, that, that, an interesting thing we could talk about is like, especially uh, Hakim, you probably can relate, but also you, JT, probably from things you've read and so on uh everywhere like east of fucking berlin right and south of fucking berlin uh, there's always this massive talk about how these countries are not developing because and everybody uses this fucking buzzword local corruption local corruption local corruption Mm. and absolutely local corruption fucking exists but saying that all of these places are not developing at the same pace as other places because of local corruption implies what implies that there is no local corruption in the west Mm. quote unquote there is a just much higher level it's called i'm saying a cliche again but it's called lobbying it's called fucking corporate malpractice it's called uh instead of you know dudes with chains and ak-47s fucking smuggling coke over the border and then giving 50 percent of that to the local police officer in order for that uh, you know cocaine to keep moving to the next country or whatever not 55 percent more like that's the official five to six percent but uh they uh they're bankers that are cutting deals which lead to crises like 2008 and 9 and the forecoming one right now it's it's it's, it's, these places are not less corrupt because uh Again, the big implication of this is saying that you can have capitalism, you can have a so-called free market without somebody outplaying it, out manipulating it, and uh, uh, creating a cartel with fellow capitalists of the same interest. That will always fucking happen. Just they have been smart enough to concentrate the ability to participate in this alternative economy only for their brothers, sisters, cousins, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and their fellow uh, members of the of the bourgeois class. And for the rest, it is un- absolutely untouchable. While when it's used by the everyday man in places like uh, Iraq or Serbia or Croatia, that's those are fucked up countries because of that corruption existing there. But with us, oh my God, that doesn't exist. And it's it, 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 it's just fucking brain dead. Yeah, honestly. By the way, um, just so people know, uh, isn't uh, actually GT? Could you please remind us how much is her net worth? Uh, she, according to that article, like forty-four million. I think their combined net worth is like one fifteen million. 
Yeah, yeah, just regular American representative things, right? Yeah, just and you know, yeah, the average not, American that's, is... That's uh, not even a fifth, probably, of what they have. If she's trading through her fucking husband, imagine through how many other people she's trading with. And she's only number 14, the 14th wealthiest uh, elected representative in the States. Oh, boy. What a, what a beautiful uh, and eclectic uh, democratic country. Um, it, uh, I'm sure that... Uh, uh, <laughs> G definitely doesn't need to. Uh, you, you, your people don't yearn for freedom, don't they? <laughs> uh, <laughs> JT. Oh man, it's okay. Don't worry. Iraqi troops uh, will arrive soon on the way. with <laughs> with a contingent of a coalition for freedom and democracy from Latin America. We'll establish a peacekeeping force. We'll make sure that we'll we'll watch over your uh, democratic process because you Americans are too barbaric to 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 be relied on. Um, uh, you're you have too many sectarian and ethnic differences that prevent you from living a civilized democratic uh, <laughs> existence. Yeah. I'm sorry, you get the oh, joke, oh, but. Oh. Yeah. You know, there was this speech of, uh, you know, how now, how like Russia needs to be cut up now into like a hundred countries as if that's a oh, fucking good idea, Jesus Christ. But Americans saying this because, you know, there's all these ethnicities living there. They deserve their mm. own country. I'm like, guys, are you sure you want to be using this argument? <laughs> America, <laughs> guys, are you sure? Are you really sure? Uh, but, but, but OK, so uh, if things haven't been getting creepy enough. Uh, Daddy Amazon just up and said, we're entering the healthcare industry. Something I will never get used to saying, by the way, healthcare mm. industry. But anyways, mm. uh, hope all of you Alexa owners are happy now uh, because Amazon will know when you're having a heart attack five minutes before you do and up the price of treatment in your area by 30 uh, percent. And if, <laughs> before you say, oh, you watch too much Black Mirror. Uh, get out of my face with that basic bitch shit. If you think a company that makes their employees shit themselves ain't going to squeeze <laughs> the shit out of that oh. malnourished, under-exercised meat car we all call a body, then I have a rock to sell you for $1,000. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I, I'm getting too into it, boys. What you think? I was going to say... Um, the other day, I was talking to a friend of mine, and I was like, yeah, and, and you know the fucking the Amazon cages, and he's like, what? Uh, well, you know, the Amazon <laughs> yeah. cages. And he was like, what are you talking about? I was like, they had the fucking Amazon cages where you have like a little hamster fucking water drinking pail thing, and you, it's like, it's like, <laughs> it's meshed like you're in fucking Guantanamo Bay, <laughs> like the metal the interlinking bits, and you're yeah. just supposed to sit there for maximum efficiency. You just sit there, you shit yourself, and you work. And he didn't believe me until I showed him the patent drawing. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! What a fucking uh, like! It's well, not even dystopian at this point. It's reality. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. did you go on? No, I, that's what I was going to say. Basically, we are well on our way to complete monopolization of everything like amazon's got it's pushed out basically all of the small vendors it does all of that now it's it's got books it's got entertainment it's got the media and the washington post it's got yeah. now healthcare. Whole foods. <laughs> yeah whole, it's got food it's got yeah, yeah. what's going to be left in in 10 years Maybe. i mean it's in housing <laughs> In, no, yeah, but in just you wait. In ten years, your life will be Amazon, right? And God forbid yeah. you get fucking blacklisted from the store. <laughs> your chip isn't recognized. <laughs> You're no longer a citizen. <laughs> oh God. Oh man, I can't wait for the turn of company towns. You know what's happening. Oh, absolutely, one hundred percent. By the way, I love this. In the corner of this fucking Washington Post garbage article, it's uh, climate change, and then uh, the first article in their climate change series is here's how the electric vehicle revolution is going. <laughs> uh, personal responsibility boys mm. so, so absolutely oh, there was one thing i wanted to uh i want uh, let me find it again because this uh the article we've got here is from the washington post which of course is owned by jeff bezos the founder mm. of amazon jeff bezos yeah famous the albanian there it is <laughs> yes um so the article says in a release announcing the deal, Neil Lindsay, senior vice president of Amazon Health Services, said healthcare is in need of reinvention. And then under oh, that, in, in parentheses, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos owns the Washington Post. <laughs> so, oh, like, they're God. required by law to squeeze that in there. <laughs> oh. Th and thank God for that, Jesus Christ. Yeah, oh, people are, are far too stupid. But I mean, we agree in, in America it needs reinvention, but not the type Just not that, that, yeah, that, not this that way. Jeff Bezos <laughs> is expecting. Oh, now I can't stop thinking that Jeff Bezos is Albanian. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, but when you mentioned you mentioned like uh, how um, the Medicare uh, system needs uh, a fix, uh, and previously how 
uh, electric uh, EV cars are going to save the our entire ecosphere. I watched the most fucking vile and at the same time impressively like fucking fucked up video. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to say something fucked up. But this dude is so savage. He bought he bought a Tesla, right? And then he bought uh, a conductor or whatever you call it, a, a machine which creates electricity. Oh, a generator. But a generator, a fuel generator that he put in the trunk of his Tesla. So <laughs> he fills it with fuel, drives his Tesla. Tesla is running out of fuel. He plugs his Tesla into a machine that consumes fuel to generate electricity. And basically, Amazing. this gentleman has created a Tesla that runs 100% of fuel with an investment of, I don't know, three, four, five hundred bucks for the, for the, for the machine. It, it's just human ingenuity is absolutely fucking brilliant, especially <laughs> when it wants to take a thing that's designed for A and turn it into a thing that's B. <laughs> it's just fucking class. But congratulations, you've just reinvented a vastly less expensive car. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, moving on to the topic of all topics, uh, one which you hoped you wouldn't be bombarded on this podcast as well. Uh, the Russian-Ukrainian war has been causing some uh, commotion, <laughs> say the least, in the <laughs> yes. world-renowned sanctions industry. Uh, I sanction you, you sanction me, uh, the poor get poor, uh, the bombed get more bombed uh, <laughs> but the system doesn't even twitch. Well, uh, Why do the... I see myself in this image? <laughs> <laughs> Likewise, my friend. <laughs> uh, I, I, both sanction and bombing, okay. Uh, the EU is, uh, so the EU is pulling back on some of its uh, food-related sanctions on Russia because they realized after different African state representatives spoke up that we all about to fucking starve, dude, under new sanctions uh, which were uh, adopted. Uh, on Wednesday, the additional package of sanctions will see Sberbank, Russia's largest bank, uh, to also become subject to freezing of its assets, with the exception of resources needed for food trade and EU official told Reuters. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this is very funny to me. It's like a <laughs> couple that has been married for so long, divorcing, but still like sharing the car or the garden yeah. in this case or the garage or something else because they can't afford another one. So they're like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Not about this. This I, I, I like it. Please give me more of this. So fuck you. It's absolutely... <laughs> Uh, the, the the thing that made me laugh about this particular thing is because um, they f when the EU and just the Western world entirely began sanctioning Russia, they were so gung ho about it at the beginning, like yeah. oh this will bring Russia to its knees. Oh wait, its currency is now stronger than it ever was. <laughs> this will stop Russian exports. Actually, they've increased trade output. This will you know the the this will help us <laughs> lift from Russian um, gas uh, dependence. And now it's like what half of Europe is uh, in yeah, this about winter to freeze. will be yeah yeah basically. I remember I saw this thing where it's like um uh, if this the current status quo keeps going the way it's going then by winter um the electricity bill for in germany for an average german might go upwards of 5000 euros per year Jesus for Christ. Them because of this and the average salary in, in is i think 32000 or something uh That's in insane. germany so yeah uh, imagine paying that <laughs> <laughs> it's such a like a ridiculous amount of uh, and by the way uh, most uh, as usually is with liberal countries they don't care about oh humanitarian aid and this no. and that they don't care that these people don't want to help ukraine if uh, you know it's all like this um, again optics right the average fucking german or english or french or whatever they just want to have cheap gas they want to have lower bills and they want to have fucking you know uh, less inflation yeah they couldn't give a shit less. But this is my point. The reason that I found this so funny is because Reuters, in, on one hand, says, hey, yeah, the EU, we need to uh, kind of reduce these sanctions because, um, like, uh, to increase uh, food trade. And then in the same fucking article, they says, the EU has so far denied its sanctions affected food trade as their fucking yeah, as they're <laughs> sanctions. Changing the <laughs> sanctions do not affect food trade. But no, that's not what's funny. What's funny is that's what Reuters says. And then you go on to foreign policy and you see that like fucking two days ago, they wrote a, an article that says Russian sanctions are working, but slowly. And then you actually read the article and you realize actually they're not. And they're admitting that it's not working. <laughs> and then in the end, the guy says, if the sanctions aren't working fast enough, speed them up. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> and, oh my god! Um, and uh, I think also one of um, kind of this is a, a related uh, point. 
but uh, there is a separate uh, news source called EU Observer, which I've never heard of, but apparently it's it's mm. one of those uh, uh, legitimate and liberal sources, like one of these fucking, you know, uh, it has a big um, uh, portrait of some white guy looking very stoically into the camera, and it's black nice. and white. Um, Hell yeah! Right? And the, the guy has a hyphenated name, so that's how he, that's how you know he's a fucking. I trust right? him. <laughs> <laughs> I trust him. <laughs> right? Um, he has a popped collar, but it's still a press shirt, so you know he's like a a, a, a jaded journalist. Um, anyways, um, <laughs> and uh, he has this entire thing about uh, oh, like the Russia and the Ukraine and the war. And his entire point is, hey, yeah, we should uh, like just give more guns to to Ukraine at the end, more weapons. And then he has a separate article which says, which is titled, "Is it goodbye to pacifist Germany?" And the entire article is basically oh him arguing for a remilitarization, <laughs> a rapid remilitarization of Germany. Because you know, this here is we go. That's pretty, this, yeah, that's something. Where have we I heard do. this before? Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, my favorite part is this guy, this author, Michael Mayer Resende, is the executive director of some fucking bullshit, quote unquote, NGO, nonpartisan NGO based in Berlin called the Democracy Reporting International. Now, if you were to just take a take a small gander, which by the way, they link to their Twitter uh, in the thing. They don't link to their actual website because on their Twitter, they don't show their quote unquote transparency bullshit. Yeah. If you go into <laughs> if you go into that transparency bullshit, you're going to see it's like, oh, funded by the German government, the English, the, the, the British government, the fucking in Dutch government, they have these uh, <laughs> all these other en- these these quote, quote unquote, uh, en- um, uh, freedom and democracy NGOs. Oh uh, yeah. And my favorite part is they have a timeline on their website, and it's like, oh, in June 2006, we're founded, and then they're like, oh, 2011, um, they opened their first country office in Pakistan, uh, working on improving the country's election framework. By the way, that's when all the fucking corruption scandals came yeah. out. And then <laughs> afterwards, it's like, in 2012, uh, <laughs> the institution opens an office in Libya, expanding its activities in North Africa. Mm, what happened in 2012 <laughs> off the back of NATO? And then, and then, just wait, just wait. Um, 2014, following the Euromaidan revolution, it opens oh a country God. office in Ukraine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord. It's, 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 and by the way, it goes on and on and on. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, you're making it so fucking transparent, you ghouls. Yeah, this yeah. is a random <laughs> article animals. that Hakim stumbled upon. Yeah. And that is the sort of fucking tunnel that he ended up digging through. It's like so common. It's so common. There's no such thing as news, man. At this point. Yeah. And by the way, the, all the all the other fucking uh, transparency, like, oh, who, do, who are our donors? All the other people are exactly the fucking same yeah. it's like funded by millionaires or billionaires or specific foreign policy uh, institutes within governments in germany and britain and so on and so forth or just like sketchy like military <laughs> like <laughs> like oh we're a military advisor board in xyz <laughs> i'm like oh how interesting you think we should rearm germany she always ex general <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. And my point being is when anybody gives, like, if anybody were to give any leftist organization shit for getting Patreon money or something, right? Yeah. This is what we're going up against. We're going against German, like, Foreign Policy Institute funding. For... <laughs> <laughs> so you can't bullshit and still, me and tell me. And still we probably yeah. get 10,000 times more fucking ears than these motherfuckers that yeah. are getting money out of their fucking asshole. No, no, please. So donate okay? on they're Patreon. Gonna, they're going to... Yeah, they're gonna over- <laughs> Don't they're gonna donate on Patreon. <laughs> Do it now. Yeah, donate yeah. on Patreon. Thank you. <laughs> donate on Patreon or Democracy Reporting International wins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are just jokes, people. But yeah, we by will way, remilitarize. The, so, <laughs> the Give the deprogram <laughs> guns. <laughs> But by the way, do you know something I love? In the turn of the what's it called when the um, uh, the quote unquote uh, Libyan revolution, that bullshit, the NATO backed fucking uh, destabilization of that country was going on. The embassy of Canada in Libya was one of their funders. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> It's so it's it's all it's a joke. It's like you're trying to write this bullshit, right? Yeah, it's the oh same God. as yeah. with Nancy Pelosi. They're they're just out in the open right now. They they figured like the all of these fucking pro imbeciles are not gonna react. So they, they they're not even hiding it anymore. Yeah, they think they've won, and uh, honestly, yeah. they they have uh, as of right now. So they can do it freely and in the open, and nothing will happen. The D program will put a stop to this. We we will change the world. <laughs> We will stand up to Germany. One <laughs> I'm pretty sure the three of us could beat the shit out of the entirety of the German fucking Bundeswehr right now. But not D- if they, they remilitarize. Uh, haven't they run out of like guns or something? <laughs> no, like no, they they're, just given everything. They're actually they're actually kind of scary because uh, the, the the military is so small r- r- in proportion yeah, but... that no no that uh, 
it only attracts the most radical nationalist elements. So the Bundeswehr mm-hmm. could is potentially like a brewing spot of the most far right elements of all of Germany, which is uh, let's be honest, kind of the country that invented that fucking shit. So it's uh, you know if they one day they do a coup, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, it could be quite dangerous. Probably half of the fucking white people listening right now, like coup in Germany, like that's a Western country. Coups don't happen here. That's literally hit. What did Hitler do? You dumb fuck. Okay, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah. There were talks, I mean, uh, I don't know, I don't remember if people uh, even followed this at the time, but there were talks briefly uh, of a, a coup in the United States against Trump with the um, uh, after the election, when it was like, oh, it's stealing the election, oh, we want to, you know, like, uh, and there was fears of like, oh, if a transfer of power will actually happen, all that kind of bullshit, yeah. which is all yeah. nonsense. It's all fucking beating the drums just for the media. Um, uh, but uh, there was, you know, statements. It's like, oh, the military is ready and prepared to do what it has. It's like, Jesus fucking Christ. It sounds like fucking <laughs> yeah. Egypt. This doesn't sound like... Yeah, know? everybody says it's not going to happen until uh, it happens. But uh, also, yeah. we talked about this. We're in for some entertaining state. times. That That is my yeah, prediction. We're going to see some right. wild stuff. I just mm-hmm. hope I will be able to pay Guys. my gas bill for fucking heating when this fucking winter comes. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. Your your gas bill will explode, but the Institute for <laughs> Democracy and what of the fuck <laughs> will ensure will, will will ensure access to free markets and dem- democratic oh. process. I'll feel <laughs> better because mentioned- I'll do it. I will I will freeze to death <laughs> to fight Putin. <laughs> <laughs> hey hey that look, will show look, him there's yeah no there's a breakdown of the marketplace of ideas i'm i'm verbatim reading from their fucking page breakdown of the marketplace of ideas so Jesus that's what you Christ. need to do okay you need to go have a conversation <laughs> all right and and with that said this was your uh, overview of the weekly news um <laughs> i don't know if we're gonna do this at any like frequency but let us know if you like this if you thought this was fun we'll definitely make more of this We'd like to, of course, always thank uh, the wonderful people on uh, the uh, Patreon, of, with, without which we would never be able to do this stuff. Um, they are our uh, national endowment for a democracy. <laughs> <laughs> they are, and they're uh, much more know, endowed than the NED, if you know um, what I mean. Yeah, exactly, that, that is right. Yeah, they don't, they don't have to rely on Pelosi's fucking uh, <laughs> children-eating f- face to do... To, to, to <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get Anyways, shit for that. Uh, I love it. I love it, oh, and I agree. No. I support Hakim. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate. It. Um, but yeah, uh, we'd like to thank you, everybody. Interestingly, by the way, we reached I think twenty thousand subs on the um uh on the YouTube channel for the yep. program, which is fucking great. Um, I think we're almost at four uh, four five. Fuck me, I can't speak. Five thousand <laughs> um uh, people on the subreddits as well, which is pretty neat. Um, and we're well on our way to I think uh a thousand. Um, patrons so this has been a, an amazing ride we, did it. we would we love to yeah oh we did oh, oh yeah, yeah. boy there will be celebrations in order but in that case then uh, we're very very thankful to all of you people for supporting us and listening to us um, we love you and uh, <laughs> good night don't let Nazi Pelosi bite <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck oh shit yeah this has been the, bro- the program wow. I forgot our shtick Nakim you motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> in the deep program he took the, I, I he came. took the outro away from me and then he switched it to we love you <laughs> <laughs> well, well, hey, do, do it sexy okay. do it do i it. i i, I want to see all of your wet penises later on mm. um <laughs> this this goes to both the gopnik jt and everybody listening <laughs> this is the <laughs> <Nitty> program <laughs> i'm hakim i'm jt and I'm Yugopnik. Don't give the Germans guns. Please don't give the Germans guns. <laughs> Do not give the Germans guns, okay? <laughs>